anti Afro Spengalis, we got to take a trip down memory lane. Do you recall? Well, I'm sure you recall. I'm just bringing it up. When I was doing almost exclusively Umar Johnson videos, literally from day one, when I posted the first video in 2017, the onslaught began. I had people sending me emails. I had people posting on every social media platform. I had people trying their hardest like to, oh my gosh, who is this person having these discussions, saying all these things because I was posting about Umar. The vast majority of those that were making these comments were women slash females. You name it, they said it. And as I posted more and more videos, more and more people would come out and say all of these things. They're going to annihilate me. They're going to do this. I'm all kinds of bees and hoes and all this lesbian changing my race and all. It went on and on. Let me tell you what the difference was when I was doing Umar Johnson videos. And now the number of people who were coming at me from all sides and I didn't understand YouTube hardly at all. I did not know that I had an option to remove the email that's associated with the videos or the account. So I'm getting bombarded with you name it. I was getting it. I didn't know how to initially monitor the channel as far as comments. So all these comments are coming in. It was coming from every side, up and down, all around. And guess what? None of that mattered to me. I didn't miss a step as far as what I was going to do on this channel, as far as posting videos. Most of those barking at me, hollering at me, calling me all these names were women slash females. When you're thinking about the Umar Johnson quote sector in and around inclusive, we have the same thing. The vast majority of those barking at me, screaming, hollering, calling me names are females. There's no difference. There's absolutely no difference in terms of how I feel. And I wouldn't even be exaggerating if I said the number of people barking at me had to be at least 60 to 100 times the number as it is now. It's likely more. Gerald will get 200 freaking emails a day. 200. Umar would say, send Gerald Palmer an email. 200, 300 emails. They're sending me all these messages. It came from all sides. There wasn't a single time that any woman or female said anything to me that struck any sort of fear in me or caused me to change course on my direction. And I'm going to tell you why I seriously believe that's the case. Because when I was brought up in my family, women were not the heavy. They were not the ones that dispensed like the serious discipline, the most stern looks. They weren't the ones that would get in our faces. Women were not the ones like riding us, like constantly on us. Yes, we were disciplined by all elders, but there was a different style that women in our family used that was so different from the men. So if you were a woman slash female, however you want to describe, there is nothing that you can say or do to me that's going to cause me to change course, to react to you, to respond to you, to get up on a panel and scream and holler with you, to shrink away in fear, to change my mind away from what I was going to do before. It, there just isn't that type of connectivity that I have with any woman. Granted, there are women that I had mad respect for. I will listen to what they say in terms of their view. I can ask for feedback and when I get the feedback, it's sound. And I might decide, you know what? That's a good idea. I'm going to change my course of action. That's in a collaborative context. It would never be adversarial where anybody would scream and holler at me if you are a woman and I'm going to, oh my God, I'm so scared. I'm going to change my mind. 
You don't have the power to make me do anything. It doesn't matter what you say or do. You can release anything you want. I am not scared about any sort of text messages, emails. Say whatever you want about me and to me. It's not going to get me to change my course of action. For those to have such energy and angst and anger and hollering and just completely pulling yourselves out of your own being to the point you're going to place yourself in a position to destroy your career, AKA self-destruction. You are never going to get me on that level. I'm not answering to you. I'm not responding to you. I'm not going to react to you. I'm not missing a single beat. It's like I moved when Umar Johnson videos were being posted. I remember when Catherine Brown came on, coming on screaming, oh, I'm going to do this, that, that old biggity B, this, that block. Those are your pistons that are misfiring. Those are your blood vessels that are going to burst. You are putting yourself at risk coming online, making threats and claiming you're doing this. I'm not following anyone over the edge, especially a woman slash female. You can go ahead and waste all of your time. It will get you nowhere with me. I don't have to answer. I don't have to react. I don't have to give you information. I don't have to do a damn thing. Nobody, especially a woman on the YouTube or social media is going to run or rule over me. You are fools for thinking you have any sort of leverage in an adversarial context. You do not. I do not care what you think. Not at all. And let me say this. If you are a man, I guess I'll go ahead and confess that you have an advantage because there is a potential, at least the potential for you to physically overpower me. There is no chance that I would ever be fearful of a woman, especially in the Umar Johnson sector, coming here to physically restrain me or overpower me. So you're wasting your time. Now, the only exceptions I'm going to grant a woman or a female is if you are a police officer and you can take me into custody. If you are a judge and you're sitting on a bench and you can issue a warrant for my arrest because my freedom is my most prized possession. Me valuing my freedom is why I don't hop up on these panels and act the rank ass fool. You're never going to drive me to a situation that you all have put yourselves in. You've carry and yourself. You will never get me there. I don't need you to like me. I don't need you to support me. I don't need you to do anything for me. I met several people before I came to YouTube, three years before I came to YouTube, at it around the same time. These are not YouTube relationships. When I came to YouTube, I met other people. We become close personal friends. We don't treat each other like garbage. So let me get this straight. I'm supposed to trade what I have, multiple mutually supportive relationships. I'm going to give what I have up, which is extremely valuable, gold standard for what they're doing. That's pretty sad. Anybody thinking that that would be desirable. I don't have any such relationships in my life. Thank you, Lord. There is absolutely no way in hell I would ever trade any mutually supportive relationship that I have with that madness. That is pure madness. I avoid madness. That is my track record. You're not going to change me and get me to indulge this demonic bullshit. This is sickening. There is absolutely zero self-respect. This is how people with no self-respect conduct themselves. And they're pissed because they look at other people and they're so badly want them to join in with this garbage. You continue to go ahead and self-incriminate. You treat each other like garbage. You up here stabbing each other in the back and you think you have something that I want. You don't have anything that I want. Umar didn't have anything I wanted. So he also waged a campaign and his campaign failed. You can wage any campaign you want. It'll be one-sided. I'm not going to replicate 
or react or respond to this madness. Go for it. Knock yourselves out. You're not getting any explanations from me. You're not going to get me to clarify anything. You're not going to get me to give my quote side of a story. Go ahead and indulge to your heart's desire. And I'm going to do what I do. I'm going to protect myself. No one is ever going to force or compel me to put myself in a situation where I could face criminal charges or any actionable, legit civil case. And I'm talking about bogus BS garbage like Catherine Brown. You're never going to get me in that situation. It's autopilot for me. Just as I was brought up in a certain way, so were you all. You were brought up to attack people and threaten people and harass people and lie on people and backstab people and cause all kinds of trouble. I was brought up to defend myself without placing myself at risk for my liberty to be restricted. Again, indulge to your heart's desire. I will not be participating. I consider it so insignificant. I'm not even going to mention your name. Now, the video is going a little bit longer than I thought. And I want to address another issue. I want to talk about the complaint process with the DeKalb County School District because there's some misinformation that's floating around. And this is my bailiwick. Correcting misinformation based on knowledge that I have, based on my professional experience, based on my personal experience. That's where I thrive. People benefit from the information that I provide. I'm not going to waste my time jumping up, acting the fool with those who only know how to act the fool. No semblance of self-control, no semblance of self-respect. Go right ahead and enjoy yourselves. People, the one thing I want to point out that I'm going to bring up in the next video, which I think is really bizarre about the scenario being floated around. And let me correct myself or clarify. I will be mentioning certain names. I got business to take care of. I'll mention your name if I got business to deal with you. If I don't have business to deal with you, I'm going to consider you insignificant. I'm not even going to talk about you. Go do what you're going to do. I didn't need anybody to quote, support me, unquote, when I did what I did with Umar Johnson. Rev G didn't need anybody to quote, support him when he got in touch with the Association of Black Psychologists when Umar Johnson was hijacking their name and making claims about being associated with them. Whether anybody agreed with Gerald or me about whatever we did or anyone else who did what they did with respect to Umar, we didn't require a consensus as far as if we were going to file a complaint. We didn't need anybody to, quote, support us. Whether they supported us or not and we thought it was something that needed to be done, we did it. So I mentioned that because there's this scenario being run that there's some anger that I'm angry because people support Carrie Ann. I never expressed anger towards Umar Johnson supporters. Umar Johnson supporters came after us. They attacked us. Same with Carrie Ann. Carrie Ann attacked us. I didn't need anybody to help me with Umar Johnson as far as whether I'm going to move forward and when I'm going to move forward. And I sure as hell never need anybody to endorse or support my actions with respect to filing a complaint against Carrie Ann. Carrie Ann was told damn near three years ago that we were going to identify her and we were going to file a complaint against her. It's irrelevant what anybody thinks about that. I don't need anybody to support me. When I say complaints, I'm talking about plural because I filed an initial complaint and then I filed a retaliation complaint. I didn't need anybody support. None. Only thing I did was remind those she talked mad shit about you. But like I said in the video earlier, you all treat each other like shit. I don't have friends where I sit around and run to different chats and sneak diss them and cave and disavow and discount and minimize my relationship with them because people are pressuring me. I don't have any relationships like that. I don't engage in that kind of behavior. Never. I support a person, I support a person. I don't give a damn what anybody says about that. But then again, that's the difference between friend and foe. You know I have more coming your way. In the meantime, you know the drill. Buyer beware.